People who are naturally good with money often like to act like it's super easy. All you got to do is this, this, and this, and boom, you're a millionaire. And if you've ever struggled financially, then hearing people talk this way probably feels awfully defeating, but it shouldn't because it's a lie. And it's about time that we all fessed up and stop pretending that managing money is easy because it's just not. All right, let's back up for a second. I know that there are some people out there who are naturally good at handling their money. They just get it. Numbers make sense to them, they aren't tempted to spend too much, and they naturally save. To them, money is easy. Then there's everyone else. The people who have the ability to learn how to handle money, it just doesn't come naturally to them. And that's totally okay. We're all better or worse at different things. The problem is that people who often teach about money like to act like it's extremely easy. Well, if it's really so easy, then why is half the country unable to afford a $400 dollars emergency? Or why is the average household credit card debt $7,136? Obviously, it's not that easy, and we need to stop pretending that it is. Now, I'll concede to all the money nerds out there. Knowing how to manage money actually is quite easy. Managing money well just comes down to two basic principles. Save more money than you spend, and invest that money so that it makes money. That's not hard to say, and it isn't hard to understand. But, and this is a big but, actually implementing those two principles is extremely difficult. It's the same reason that knowing how to lose weight and actually losing weight are two completely different things. In fact, losing weight also has two principles, eat fewer calories than you burn and work out to burn more calories. It seems so simple, yet the obesity rate in America has more than doubled in the past 35 years. So obviously knowing what to do and actually doing it are completely different things. Let's look at a few examples of how this plays out. We all know that we should be paying off debt. Nobody feels like they've been given a magic bullet when they hear a financial guru say, hey, uh, you should spend less than you earn and then use the extra cash to pay off that debt. The advice is easy, but actually following through with it is hard, like really hard. And the reality is that most people in debt just don't see a way out. They've got kids to feed, school to pay for, parents to help, and bills to pay. And living extra frugal to try and save an extra $75 to put towards debt at the end of the month just doesn't seem to go very far anyways. After a while, our natural human instinct kicks in and we go, well, what's the point? and we stop trying altogether. And that's the thing about debt. It isn't just a number. It's a boulder that emotionally crushes you. And so dealing with debt isn't easy, and we need more people to admit that. After you get out of debt, the next logical step is to start saving. But as usual, this also isn't as easy as it seems. We've got dinners with friends, birthdays for nieces and nephews, pet expenses, vacations, and all sorts of other things demanding our attention, and most of the time coming with instant gratification. Heck, I spend the vast majority of my time thinking about personal finance, and I struggle to save money every month. There always seems to be something vying for our cash, and sometimes it's not even us. As a 25-year-old dude, the amount of money that I have spent on weddings in the past few years for my friends is absolutely absurd. On paper, money looks like numbers and math and logic, but it's not. Money is emotional, and oftentimes our emotions win, which means most of us don't save as much as we'd like. Now, if you pay off your debt and start saving, investing is the next logical step, and thankfully, we have the internet. Investing has become way easier for the average Joe than it was just 20 years ago. But still, for most of us, deciding when and what and how to invest is overwhelming. When you're fresh out of school and land that first adult job, the HR assistant hands you a booklet with all of your 401k options and your eyes literally glaze over. You've never learned any of this before. How could you possibly know how to invest, much less what to invest in? And that's the problem. Investing is hard, and sometimes it's made intentionally more confusing by the brokerages to try and make more money off you. So it's okay to admit that you're struggling and having a hard time understanding it. But let's talk about the bigger problem. When we think that something is supposed to be easy, we don't want to admit that we struggle with it. This is why a teacher should never introduce a topic telling you that it's going to be easy. Do you remember ever being in math class and your teacher coming in one day and saying, okay class, we've got a really easy lesson for you today, and then proceeding to write the most complicated problem you've ever seen on the board? What do you do? Are you going to raise your hand and ask a question? No. You're going to sit there silently pretending that you totally get it. Because if you raised your hand and asked a question in front of the whole class, you'd be admitting that you were stupid because because this topic is supposed to be super easy, right? And it's the same way with money. We think that managing money is supposed to be super easy. It's the adult thing to do. And we look around at the people in our life and they have all these nice things. And so it appears that they know what they're doing with managing money. We 
must be the only ones who have no clue. And of course, we don't want to talk about money with other people because then they'll know just how bad we are with it. So we maintain the status quo, struggling with money on the inside while keeping up with the Joneses on the outside. But not only are we doing ourselves a disservice, we're also doing a disservice to everyone around us who's struggling with money too. Because believe me, they're also fighting that same internal battle. So let's stop pretending that getting out of debt and saving money and investing are all common sense things that we should all just know how to do. The reality is that for most of us, managing our money wisely is one of the hardest things we will ever do. We need to be open and honest about it and help each other along the way. Which actually reminds me of a post poem that my friend Joel O'Leary recently shared. Okay, uh, actually Joel has no idea who I am. I'm just subscribed to his 5 a.m. email newsletter, but nevertheless, back to the poem. The poem says, some kids are smarter than you. Some kids have cooler clothes than you. Some kids are better at sports than you. It doesn't matter. You have your thing too. Okay, now let's take a second and rewrite this poem for money. Some people are better at budgeting than you. Some people have more savings than you. Some people have a more impressive portfolio than you. It doesn't matter you have your thing too. So what should you do with all this information? Well, if you're naturally good at handling your money, then don't act like people who are struggling are complete idiots. Instead, empathize with your friends who you know are struggling and offer to help them and provide advice when appropriate in a non-condescending way. And if you're on the other side of the fence and struggling financially, I hope this video encourages you to help you know that you're not alone. And I also hope that you're encouraged to open up about your money struggles. I know that the people around you who are also struggling with their own money problems will surely thank you and offer up their support. Support. We're not all good at the same thing, so let's be open about our struggles and use our strengths to help the people around us in an uplifting and non-condescending way. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button below and leave a comment. As always, subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this. And remember, I can encourage you to talk about the fact that money isn't easy, but I can't make you do it. The choice is yours. I'll see y'all next time.